Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to create our first D program. Let's start by learning how to use our terminal or a console if you're on Windows. Open up your terminal or console. The first command we're going to learn is ls. ls lists all files in the current folder. To navigate between the folders, use keyword cd and folder name. It means change directory. To return to the previous folder, type cd dot dot. To clean the terminal window, type clear or cls if you are on Windows. Now let's create a folder for this video. Use keyword mkdir. It stands for make directory. Now let's create our file. You can launch Sublime Text, go to new file and save the file to our folder. Or you can type double angle brackets main.d. This command will create an empty file called main.d ls to see the results. To open the file, type open and your file name. If Sublime Text does not open your file automatically, use open minus a double quotes the name of the application, in this case it's Sublime Text, and file name. Let's write our first program. Our main objective is to learn how to output text on the screen. To do so, we need to import or include a file which contains the code for outputting text on the screen. This code was written by somebody else long ago. We can just include this file to our project and use it, which is very convenient. Standard IO contains a code for input and output. Next comes the main function, or the body of our program. A function is a group of statements that performs a certain task. We will discuss what functions are in later videos. To output text on the screen, type write ln parentheses double quotes and your message. WriteLine is a function from a standard input-output library. If we do not include the first line, our compiler will give us an error. And do not forget the semicolon in the end of the line. The semicolon is used to mark the end of a statement. It's like a dot in the end of a sentence. Let's compile our program. Type dmd name of your file and hit enter. To run your program, type dot slash name of your file. Congratulations with your first D program. Now a little side note, if you type ls, what you will observe are two new files. The first file is .o file, the second is the executable file. The .o file is the object file produced by the compiler from our code. Compiler uses these object files to create executables like this one. If all you want to do is to test your code without creating any files, you can use rdmd. It's almost the same as dmd but RDMD compiles and runs the program automatically, without creating any additional files. That's it. In the next video, we're going to learn about fundamental types of deep programming language, like ints, double, chars, and so on. Have a nice day.